Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Oasis Focus and Finance Show. I'm your host, Shafiq Morton. As always, it's great to be with you. One of the biggest debates on the South African landscape is that of education, how we fund it and access for students. One of the biggest challenges that we all face is the issue of funding. In last week's show, we focused on what Oasis had done in terms of its Oasis bursary program in making funding and access to institutions easier for students. We gave you a broad outline of the OASIS bursary program. In this week's show, we will have a look at the streams of subjects that are catered for by the bursary program. We'll have a look at which tertiary institutions are available to you. And of course, we'll talk about career guidance. But before we chat to our panel, let's have a quick look at this insert. Oasis believes in empowering through education. We understand that developing potential will help shape and build a better tomorrow. It was said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The Oasis Bursary Program is aimed at young visionaries wanting to make a difference to their future, society and South Africa as a whole. We appreciate diversity and individuals from all walks of life are welcome to enroll. So where do you see yourself in the future? How will you shape and build a better tomorrow? Take your first step today to be the best you you can be with the Oasis Bursary Program. In South Africa, we have massive unemployment. There's always been a need to address those social ills. Our real big focus has been on education because we believe education is a great liberator. It's the one thing that you can transfer from one generation to the next generation. There's not that many types of investment that you can actually do where if you spend and you're able to take somebody into the sphere of education, there's a greater chance that their children can be educated and so on. The funding of educational initiatives is a South African imperative, but we are especially pleased to be in a position to extend funding assistance beyond our own program. In a country like South Africa, where you have mass unemployment, you have huge um, differences in wealth, mass poverty, and you actually have a society where the people are actually standing up and saying we cannot afford education because many, many people land up having loans at the end of education, you know, the university education, and then they land up having jobs that they're not suited for or not having um, university degrees that are suitable for the jobs, so they're unemployed. So you go through university with this great dream and you, then you land up for, uh, in the wrong area and have debt. You then have the burden of debt. You make all the wrong decisions for the rest of your life. Our task is one, is to create equilibrium uh, through education, to create equality through education, and then to do that without the burden of debt. And so we fully fund the students um, uh, during university. The third thing is we mentor the students through, through the process so what that does is it gets us to understand the students and it gets them to understand the work environment at the highest level. So by the time they completed their studies, we may have impacted them on changing their studies to meet their personalities and their competitive advantages, or we may have entrenched their interests in their core areas of studies. And by the time they've completed their studies, they're actually valuable members of society. They're ready to join the workforce. They're highly competitive. And from an ASIS point of view, we know them well and we welcome them into our organization. This bursary means a lot to me. It's going to give me an opportunity to achieve my career goals and I'm really happy about it. When they spelled out that they were going to start an education project here, they are here to invest in the community. This personally means that I have access to so many other opportunities which I wouldn't have had. And for me that's very important because I'm able to achieve so much more in life using this bursary.
my experiences have been both daunting and scary, yet exhilarating and encouraging. I have evolved into an individual that looks at the world differently. I am stronger, better and more prepared. I am courageous. My frame of reference has expanded far beyond what I could ever have imagined. If you'd like to apply, upload a completed application pack and a two-minute video via wetransfer.com to bursary at oasiscrescent.com. In your two-minute video, tell us more about yourself, family background, your qualifications, leadership qualities and experience, work experience and books or articles you read, as well as your achievements, career objectives and what drives you. circumstances will not determine my future. A godsend sponsor came along and covered the cost of my undergraduate career. Standing before you is a University of the Free State graduate, an aspiring chartered accountant, and most important of all, a product of the Oasis Bursary Program. This amazing program, together with the team that makes it happen, is probably one of the biggest blessings that I've ever received. The Oasis Bursary Program is one amazing experience, one that is worthwhile. Each student is catered to according to their individual needs and is not treated any different to any other student. This program has made a beautiful impact in my life. I am now putting my two degrees to good use here at Oasis Group Holdings as a trainee accountant. Place full trust in Oasis. They will certainly be by your side ensuring that your dreams come true. Take your first step today to be the best you you can be with the Oasis Bursary Programme. You are watching the Oasis Focus and Finance show and we have just uh, watched a short insert on the Oasis Bursary Programme. We are going to take a quick break and we'll be back right after this. Welcome back and we are discussing the OASIS Bursary Program. 
Before the break, we saw a short insert, and we now proceed with our guests, uh, Jawairia Malik and uh, Sherazan Isaac. So, ladies, assalamu alaikum, welcome to the show. Jawairia, we're going to start off with you. Um, we had a, a, a recap. Last week, we had a look at some, just some of the details and outline. But what courses are actually uh, sponsored by Oasis in terms of the bursary program? Okay, we offer quite a variety of options for the students. Um, I'm sure everybody just assumes because we're a financial investment company that we would then just only focus on accounting, investments and economics, but that's not the case. So because we do everything in-house, we consider um, marketing um, related courses. So your marketing degrees, um, your graphic design, web design, um, a marketing department also requires photographers, um, videographers, so uh, all of those degrees we then look at property studies, quantity surveying, if we move on to HR we look at psychometrists, industrial psychologists, um, there's even um, space for IT um, courses, so your information technology, your computer science, so it's quite a large variety of courses that we um, consider for the university. It sounds like a silly question, but why are these courses sponsored? <laughs> so like I was saying, um, Shafiq, it's because everything is done in-house at Oasis. So we do our own advertising, um, we do our own TV shows, um, everything, all the branding is done by our, our marketing team and our design team. So um, like you know, a business needs a lot of things to function. Um, and because of that, and also it's a recruitment bursary, which means at the end of the bursary, like we said in the last show, is um, a work back opportunity for the student. So we base our bursary, our, um, the bursary options on the recruitment opportunity as well. Sherazan, what universities and institutions are preferred in this whole process? Because obviously I can't go and study accounting at a university that teaches acting, for example. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe you could, you could pretend to know that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, well, basically, Shavik, I think it's important to start off that we um, are involved in a very intense skills development mm -hmm. program mm -hmm. with all of our universities. And we take this very, very seriously because um, building the relationships with the university has afforded us the opportunity, as well as myself and Juwera, we actually went out to the universities mm -hmm. to get to know you know, the course coordinators, the deans, the HODs, um, how are these courses structured? How can we come back and assist our students? Because at the end of the day, um, we want to be able to um, assist them with, when we, when we spoke about the mentorship program, um, you know, how to choose your majors, how are these things structured? Um, and in doing so and interacting with the various universities, um, we were able to say, you know what, this is good for our students. This is what we're looking for. And that is why we've been interacting with universities such as UP, UJ, um, UCT, um, Stellenbosch, Pre Vitz. University of Pretoria, mm -hmm. Wits University. UFS. Yes, you know, just restricted mm -hmm. to certain universities because we are cognizant that sometimes there's a cause um, that a particular university or even other college or institution is well known for. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will take that on review and we'd be willing to consider funding that type mm -hmm. of course at that institution as well. And of course, I mean, the, the question why would you actually advise students to apply to these these particular institutions a follow up to what you've just discussed it's really in their best interest to do so because these are highly accredited institutions mm. um, and also they will be able to provide that student with the type of skill um, that we're looking for um, and um, over and above that, the mentor that's going to be mentoring this student throughout the uh, duration of their studies, because we um, fund from your first year th right through to your PhD, these um, mentors have also been at these universities and is also, you know, um, equipped to guide them in that. I, for example, have a couple of students that I'm mentoring in the um, legal side of things. Um, I often kid with my, with my students to say, we're not here to do your assignments for you, <laughs> but we can surely assist you and guide you. Um, you know, with time management, with um, type of the support that they're going to need whilst they are at university. Because as you know, Shafiq, a jump from school to mm -hmm. university, you literally becoming a child straight through to an adult. It can, and be, can be, yes, it can be very daunting. And these are the types of things that we want to ensure that the necessary support is also offered at the university. And that is why we embarked on this engagement with the various mm -hmm. universities in getting to know what the causes and the skills development ex um, precisely is 
at mm. the university. Now, Joaria, you've spoken about the fact that you went to actually visit these universities. Yes. Uh, tell us about these particular visits because there are not many bursary programs that actually mm. do this. Normally, it's take the money and run. Yeah, yeah it's, it's much deeper than that. Yeah, yeah. no, exactly. Um, we thought that building relationships, if, if we want to get our bursary program out there, we would need to actually start relationships with the universities because a lot of students at times, they're not sure where to go or what funding is best for them or what recruitment bursary is the best option. But when you inform the, the lecturers and the deans, those are the people that students usually go for go to for mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. So when they know more about the program and they know what the offers are and the, op the big opportunity that is, that is available to the students, the students are more keen and more willing to apply. So it's the first thing is then starting and building relationships and then getting through to the students and assisting them the best way we know how. And Shafiq, I think it's important to, to also um, address the fact that this student is really going to become an ambassador mm -hmm. of their school, mm. of the university, and importantly, of Oasis. Yeah. So we want to make sure that that relationship from the school that they've come from, from the university, and now that they are, you know, once they complete their, their, their um, uh, tuition and their, their degree, they have that work back opportunity. Mm. So they're going to be holding that flag up high. Um, and that's what makes this relationship building so important to yeah. us. And that is why we reach out to the schools and to the universities to keep that on because we only have the best interest of the student at hand. Yeah. Yeah. Now the fancy word is alumni awareness. Um, yeah. I'm, not <laughs> that, I'm not gonna say that on TV again. Um, I think the, the other question is, how does this intensive interaction affect the actual performance of the students? Well, phenomenally, because what um, Adjueira and the team does is they constantly in interaction with the university. Mm -hmm. So they know when the breaks are, they know when exams are starting, they mm -hmm. know if for whatever there's been, for example, we've heard about the disruptions at university. Mm -hmm. And in that way, in also knowing the various activities at the university, mm -hmm. the timetable, mm -hmm. the causes, any changes of causes. And we've actually been so um, humbled by certain universities and institutions that is willing to cater in terms of um, subjects and causes that mm -hmm. would help and assist OASIS and the business as such. And it's through that types of interaction we're able to keep the student up to date. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned in our last show that we have this WhatsApp group so we have the ability to keep our students up to date to tell them are you ready you know good luck your exams is coming up or uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in your vacation or break when they come to do their, vac um, their, va their vacation, vacation um, uh, a time that they spend here mm -hmm. at Oasis. So like shoes I was saying it, it really assists us with our planning as well because we have our vacation work program twice a year. So we need to be informed when there's a break at university. If there are any interruptions, we know we need to step in and assist the student. So it's more than just, um, more than just having that relationship with the university, but also assisting us with guiding the student and training the student. Just very quickly, I'm sure the universities must also appreciate this feedback mm -hmm. because they don't always get it yeah. in terms of how they must engineer their courses. Yes, precisely. And in, it's through this interaction that we're able to um, get to a situation where we will say, wow, you know what, we are happy with the support, mm -hmm. for example, that they offer certain of the psycho students, because yeah. we are a psycho accredited institution. And it's important to us to know that, you know, the PGDA students are getting that support and yeah. how we can um, filter through that mm -hmm. support um, and, and work with the universities to ensure the best, ultimately the best for that student. Now, Sherazan, how do does a person apply not how does a person apply? i think before that how does one qualify to apply for for the oasis bursary what are the criteria in, just in terms of that yes so if we look at if we started for example on on the school level um, a student that is at school um, they would have to have an average of 85 mm percent -hmm. um, and bearing in mind that this is for towards commerce streams and we'd consider mm -hmm. a 70 um, uh, percent average if there is um, any other stream other than mm -hmm. commerce um, and we also focus on your pure maths yes, because we feel that English. that's very mm -hmm. and in English that's very important mm -hmm. um, and if the student is at university and is still um, you know seeking funding and that and then we would move to a 70 percent mm -hmm. um, average um, in that regard. So then the 70 percent average would have to be maintained for the first and second year of study 
Um, that This is for the commerce students mm -hmm. and the BCom law students as well. And then moving to your third year in honours and masters and PhD, um, 65 to 70% um, would also be um, acceptable. And that would be coupled with the, psych the psychometric and personality mm -hmm. profile testing mm -hmm. of the student uh, because we mentioned about, you know, how you, um, before you actually apply and through your application process, you're going to have to upload a video so we will get to know about you matched with your academic profile. And of course, I think you're not going to be putting a square pig into a round hole. There no, definitely not. <laughs> and that, that, that's also why we have the relationships with the universities, because a lot of universities have different standards when it comes to, you know, your um, entry into your honours degree or master's degree. Um, sometimes a 65%, sometimes maybe one university would be 65 and the next university will be 60 percent. So all of this information we also take into consideration as well. And we would ask for more than basically just that semester or yeah. that term mm -hmm. because we do understand mm -hmm. that sometimes you know you kind of had a bad term yes. or, but we're looking more for consistency. Exactly. Absolutely yeah. Joayuri our last point mm -hmm. I'm sure people are now they're getting excited. They want to start <laughs> applying. Hopefully. So, so how, how do we do that? Okay, so like we said in the last show, um, you can download the application form on the website. So it's www.oasisclesson.com under the careers tab. Um, you could also then submit it via WeTransfer or you could submit it at the office. So you could visit any of our offices, either the one in Cape Town, you could drop it off at the Joburg office or Durban. And you can also post it to us um, um, and the information would be available on the application form. Lots of options, ladies. Yes. Uh, shukran and uh, everything of the best with the and Oasis Bursary Program. Shukran, shukran so much. <laughs> and that concludes today's edition of the Focus on Finance show. A special thanks to our guests, Joairia Malik and Sherazan Isaacs. Should you wish to watch this or any of our other shows, you can log into the Oasis Crescent YouTube channel. Should you wish to contact us, you can dial 0860 100 786 or info at oasiscrescent.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Shafiq Morton. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.